watch it today i've got something i think you are gonna love it is my high intensity interval plyometric workout this is ideally designed to be done with a treadmill so we'll be walking power walking at incline for two minutes and then hopping off and doing 30 seconds of a high intensity exercise if you're so inclined you can certainly power walk outside or at home in place too and just do your high intensity exercise in the intervals where I say so. Before we get started, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single workout or recipe I've got coming up for you. You ready to get going? Let's get started. If you're using a treadmill, hop on there right now and put it to a two degree incline. That's where we're gonna start. I'm gonna walk in place right here. I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes of walk and then a 30 second high intensity interval. And let's get started right now. And you wanna do this, if you're on the treadmill, you're gonna do this at a power walk. You don't wanna leisurely walk, you wanna power walk. So let's use this first two minutes to essentially warm it up. So this plyometric workout, you may wonder what the heck are plyometrics? Plyometrics teach your body to generate power. They train your muscles to generate power and force. For runners, they help you get fast. They help you find your running efficiency. They help you find your best running form. And really, plyometrics are good for anybody who does any sport, whether it's tennis or lacrosse or volleyball, gymnastics, softball, whatever. Plyometrics are a great training exercise. So we're walking, maybe we'll do some little bit of arm swings just to get the body fully warmed up. Press in front. Feel your heart rate coming up ever so slightly. And you're breathing. Our first plyometric interval is a call, I call it a vertical, vertical jump and turn. And I'll show it to demonstrate. It's a jump straight up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna act a little bit of a baby squat here. We're gonna act as though we are handing off a package. So you're gonna turn your whole torso, pin your arms to your side of your body. So it's vertical jump and turn, vertical jump and turn. But it's not time for that yet. But that's our first interval. Okay, here comes the vertical jump and turn and rotate. So the rotation comes right from your core. Get some nice height, really explode up from your quads. was in interval number one. What you're gonna do if you're on a treadmill is you're gonna push up that incline two degrees, so you're at a four, right here. So the power walking difficulty increases just a little bit. So we're walking around. How would you like that first interval? Do you see what I mean about explosive power? Yes. So what we're gonna do with the first round of these is we're gonna work our way up in the incline on that treadmill. And then our second set, we'll work our way back down. And if you're pressed for time, you can always shorten these walking intervals to one minute and just cut this workout essentially kind of in half. Pump your arms, nice, strong power walk. Nothing leisurely, we are purposeful with our stroll today. Okay, so our next interval is gonna be jumping jack with alternating knee up, and it looks like this. Jack, knee up, and jack the other way. Jack, knee up, here's low impact. If you really don't want to do the jump, 
So we're walking. That's our jumping jack with knee up. And you're breathing. Okay, here we go. Jacket and knee. Jack it up and knee. Jack it up and knee. You got it. And you're breathing. You're getting your hands above your head. Bring the heart rate up. Interval number two. Now we're gonna push that in, climb up two points again. So you're at a six. The walking is getting a little more arduous. Heart rate's coming up. And remember, if at any time it becomes too much for you, you can always lower your in incline or slow down your walk or take a water break. So our next interval is going to be a reverse lunge with knee up and it goes like this. Reverse lunge, hands out, knee up, back and switch. And you can, do, you can add a jump there. That's your plyometric move, okay? Do that one as fast or slowly as you need to. Ideally, a plyometric workout is done once a week, maybe twice. It's a great way of training your muscles for power and agility. that reverse reverse lunge knee up and switch or jump arms are just swinging up and down great power from the single leg impact okay we're back do a power walk and you're going to take it up to an eight degree incline right here punch up two more degrees if you got it this is where we really start sweating but it's great to walk an incline I mean, it incorporates all kinds of different muscles especially that posterior chain those glutes that are so strong yet get so lazy, this will activate them. Definitely let me know in the comments how you like this one. If you found it hard or easy, or if this was totally new to you, if this is something you've never seen before, tell me about it in the comments. We're definitely generating some heat here and stoking that metabolic fire. Okay, so our next interval is gonna be a broad jump forward with fast feet back. And it looks like this. Broad jump, fast feet back. Use those arms. That's your broad jump with fast feet back. As soon as we get, the, as soon as our timer goes.
Here comes the broad jump, fast feet back. Jump it forward, fast feet back. You got it. Nice, strong, powerful move. Get those feet moving. And you guessed it. When we come back, we're gonna put that treadmill on a 10 degree incline. Okay, but not before we stop. Take a minute here, grab some water, a little rest break, then I'll meet you on the treadmill for 10 degrees. Ready for round two of our plyometric hips. I'm gonna start my timer. And remember, we're up at the 10 degree incline on our treadmills, or you're just power walking along. Either way, it's all good. So here we go. We will resume our power walking. This is as high as we go. So if 10 is difficult for you, you can always slow down your speed. Or if you're really dying, of course, you can decrease your incline. But challenge yourself. See how long you can hang at the 10. See how long you can hang at your power walk speed. The bot, this is how we gain fitness. The body will step up, so definitely challenge yourself. And breathe. These incline power walks are so good, like I said before, for that posterior chain. Activate those glutes. Our next interval is gonna be that vertical jump with twist, alternating. There was my step goal. <laughs> Kinda of happy to know my watch is counting these steps, yes. Okay, here we go. Vertical jump and then twist. And the other side. Get low. Get low when you land. Rotate that core. Your gaze goes right with your core. You glue your entire upper body together and it all rotates. Your knees stay facing the front. Get low, get low. Okay, now we're going to put our treadmill down two degrees. So we're going to go to an eight. Hang with me here. It's getting easier. The hard part is behind us. Smooth sailing head. You've got this. Metrics is such a good way to train the whole body. And it's a real fun change up to a boring treadmill workout, too. Our jumping jack alternating knee up is next. Core is tight. Feeling this one? I think you will. I know I will. Pump those arms.
Here we go, jumpy jack, knee up. Arms go up, heart rate goes up. Calorie burn goes up. Okay, we're back to our walk and we're stepping it down two more degrees. So now we're, if you're on your treadmill, you're at a six degree incline. Leveling off, like I said before, the hard part's over. Now we're just cruising on into the finish. Keep it going. Breathing. Our reverse lunge knee up is next. Come on, hang with me. You can totally do this. Remember, if it's still a little too hard, you can slow your walk pace or decrease your incline, your call. But hang with me, you got it. Thirty more seconds here. Core is tight. This is a great workout to get you out of your rut. When you're always doing the same thing, your body adapts and you don't gain fitness because your body's adapted to it, it expects it. This gives you something your body does not expect. So it has to adapt. And by adapting, you're gaining fitness. Okay, reverse lunge, knee up and switch. A little hop here if you want it. <laughs> and we're back. The good news is we are cranking down that treadmill incline to a four. Easy breezy. You can totally do four all day long, right? doing so great hanging here with me because I know this one kind of wears on you even though you can moderate your walk. Keep that heart rate up there. Keep that blood pumping. Get maximum bang for the buck. Give it your all. Our broad jump forward cast feet back is next. You want to add a little arms here safely if you're on the treadmill you don't want to get crazy and fall off the treadmill I don't be, want to be responsible for that but if you're out walking in the neighborhood and you don't feel too silly you can do something with your arms be creative 30 seconds here Before we do that broad jump, show me what you've got. Show me all your power. Make it good. Okay. 
Okay, here's our broad jump. Use your arms. Here we go. Swing them up. Fast, feet it back again. Bring it back down low. Knees are bent. So great. Okay. Now we're going to bring that treadmill down to a two. And this final two minutes is going to serve as our cool down. So we don't have to power walk anymore. We can gently bring that heart rate down. Give me some bicep curls. Walking more slowly, reduce your speed. Catch your breath. How about some upright rows? Oh yes. How about open and close? Slow it down. If you're on the treadmill and you want to hop off to finish this one on the floor, feel free by all means. Oh yes. Let's drop that. Arms down and up, out to the sides, get a little bend in that knee, bring your heart rate down. That was so great, you guys. Were you able to hang? I hope you were. And I hope you visit me again and do this one again. This is, like I said, your body would love this one to me. Whenever you're not sure what workout to do, biometric hit, come up with a little reach and pull here. And two, and single, and two, and here we go, let's do a little two again, almost there you guys, lay down, give me a big stretch out, press your fingers, press up toward the ceiling, side body, breathe into the side body, and here you have it, my friends. That is our high intensity interval plyometric workout. I hope you loved it. And I hope I see you again. Before you go, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me.